Whoa, wait a second. I didn't look for a moment. I didn't look for a moment. Hikaru, your thoughts on the opening? Uh, I mean, it's just, uh, it's just, just terrible. It's the worst opening ever. I mean, these guys, they, they bring such great shame on the game of chess by playing this. It's literally the worst. The worst thing ever. And we're off. Let me start the timer. First game, Levy with the white pieces and pushes e4. I was gonna ask you about the opening predictions too. Did you expect Levy going for e4 openings at all? Um, no, I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought Levy was gonna play d4. Yeah. Um, so, someone asked what the prize is for winning. The prize is gonna be a nice big basket of lemons. Um, that's gonna be the prize. So that's why we're all wearing yellow shirts, you guys. It's gonna be yes, a nice, exactly. nice basket. I also have lemons here. This is, this is all about the lemon branding we are going for. Yeah, Levy's kind of misplayed the opening, by the way. It's a transposition to, a, like, a four knights. Um, but th this is not this is not great for, for white. He allowed knight takes e4 and was laughing about it and then just calls so us going a bit red there. Well, you know, move. one thing I've learned is when, when you're really, when you're a new beginner, normally you play knight c3 on move three. And you, you go, like, knight f3, knight f6, knight c3, knight c6, and then bishop c4 is a blunder because of knight takes e4. So, um, so Levy kind of tries to trans... Oh, f6! Is that a good move here? It looks like such a committed one opening up the Computer loves it, but as as Ben 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 Feingl would say, uh, you never push f six, and especially <laughs> with no king castling. I don't. I mean, computer loves it. Maybe this is just theory. I guess this is some theory that I just don't know. But um, but wow. I mean, this looks so dangerous for Black walking into this like open diagonal. Especially in a blitz game. I'm scared. Game. Yeah, I'm scared for Eric, but he pushed f6 so confidently and now starts thinking of the rook to e1. Mm -hmm. So basically, Levy needs to somehow attack the center very quickly because if Eric can go like bishop d7, queen e7, and castle, he's, he's just up a pawn, and that extra pawn makes a huge difference. g6, preventing queen h5 check, and f4 mm -hmm. immediately by Levy. This is such a nice looking position for white. At the same time, the computer is just like, no, this is okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's very tricky um, when you play his openings. I like queen e7. He wants to go bishop d7 and castle as king. Very thematic. Um, yeah, I, I think Levy's just busted. Eric Eric grabbed the pawn. Um, er, Eric just grabs the pawn. He's a pawn grabber. And I think he's just winning here. He just goes bishop d7, castles king out of the center. And there's no way for white to attack this very solid triangle pyramid here. Um, so from c7 to e5 and g7 to e5. So it's very, very, it's very good for Eric. I wouldn't have predicted uh, this opening. First of all, e4 surprised me by Levy. I also thought it was going to be d4 openings or the Catalan kind of just mm -hmm. g3 setup, Sophia and Keto. Um, and now seeing this, this development, it still feels like... In a blitz game, white should have compensation because white's pieces are really active, but black is about to finish um, fully their development castle queen side. Yeah, like I said, I think uh, I think the fact that black can castle queen side and then go like g5 and trap the knight on h4, it's very bad for white. And this is why like the, the meme openings are the meme openings are great up to a point, but if your opponent's prepared, um, sometimes you just feel you just feel um, you you feel you feel like a like a like a like an idiot in a sense. Very true, very true. And I wonder what is it that level will come up with to try to compensate for the situation? Throwing all those pawns toward the black king that will be on the queen side makes a lot of sense, the pawn storm. Mm -hmm. So I think black should castle here because then g5 is a threat. Right now g5 allows queen h5. Although is that actually so bad for black? g5, queen h5, king e7, knight f3 and just take a second pawn? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Okay, um, bishop e7. I don't necessarily love that so much. I think it's fine. Okay. Yeah, I would have castled there and rerouted my knight to e7. Because now, even though Levy's down a pawn, he has a free hand to attack on the queen side. And black, even though black's up a pawn, you have no break in the center here. So I really didn't like bishop e7. Yeah, that was a strange decision, and uh, also the bar was jumping for a moment. I don't, I don't think there was anything concrete, and it feels like what Levy did. Was yeah, very and, and look at the center. bar, by the way, Anna. Now white is better because white can just attack here, and black has no break in the center, and the, the king side is closed. Mm -hmm. 
I really like this. Suddenly, it's a lot easier for white to play this position, as you said. Those pawns are running white for black. How do you open up the H or G files? He could try to push H5 or G4, but it's not the same because for Levy, it will be a lot easier to stop them. While right. B5, A4, that, that's just... Yeah, it's going to be a rough one for Eric now to defend. Yeah, I think I think Bishop E7 was a very bad move by Eric. He should have just castled the king and put the knight on E7 so he could push in the center um, of the board because now it's very... I mean, knight D2, knight B3, and you just you have no attack. Because if you go knight D2, G3, white can very calmly just go H3. Ah, ah, what is knight H4? Oh, I no. I guess you want to freeze the king side, so that will stop the H pawn, but it also means that that knight has nowhere to go and it could potentially be trapped. But I G3, don't like G3. Though, yeah, I was going to Because now you just go that. H3 and your knight can come back to F3. The pawn on G4 was stopping the knight from coming back in the game, so as the saying goes, yeah. the knight on the rim is dim. And now after H3, the white knight can just come right back into the game with no, no worry. Mm -hmm. Exactly, this was unexpected. G3, I'm not sure why Eric was rushing with that pawn push. And now he's thinking, so it's, it's again one of those situations that after knight h4 could have been maybe a moment to think. Although, now that I'm going back to that moment, I don't know what other move is there to suggest for black, because the ga square is covered by the c4 bishop, so it wasn't easy for him to make progress. Maybe that's why he was rushing mm -hmm. with the g3 push, because it was just, and still is, so difficult for black to make any progress. It feels like the blacking is getting yeah. muted in no time. Yeah, basically, Eric let the king side get closed, and um, and then immediately Levy just attacks on the queen side. Yeah, I mean, this is just crushing for Levy. This is just, we're just winning. Yeah. Queen, D, queen d3 is good. Everything is good here. There's just no attack on the king side, so white's just crushing. Every move wins here. Bishop d5 is very logical to, tr to try to trade the light squared bishop and with the open a file, queen coming to c4, I don't think that Eric can hold this together. Yeah, I mean, I think even bishop e6 is good here. Bishop e6 takes f e6 and then put a knight on f5. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like this a lot, yes, for the for the knight to come to, to f5 or queen c4 pinning the c6 pawn, very logical as well. And then bishop e6 mm -hmm. next move. Yeah, so queen c4 also looks good. Uh, bishop e3 is coming next more. This is a good start for Levy from an opening where he basically messed up a little bit the move order, gave up the e4 pawn and had no compensation. Mm -hmm. He ends up winning. Well, he still has he, to he's, win. It, he's going to win this game. Though. The, the, the black yeah. king is just too open here. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, er Eric, Eric's mistake was playing too. bishop e7. Mm -hmm. That was his big mistake. Was um, He was much better, but he should have just castled the king. Castled the king and put the knight on e7 and not close the uh, king side. Mm -hmm. How much time is left now? I'm going to try to add the timer to. So far, it's about mm -hmm. 8 minutes that has passed from the match. So they're going to be playing for 45 minutes, the first portion, right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Let me... Uh... Oh, you, you, did you change something oh. with your sound, Anna? Because you went down for me. Uh, I was trying to f balance out the two. Is it now low on your end? I don't it's, know what's, yeah, it what is else. Low on my end. Oh no, I'm gonna try to speak up in that case because I don't know what else can I do. It, you were very low on my end, so I was trying to adjust the two together. Okay, I, I can try to turn myself down. Let me just see. Okay, well, let me try now. If there is a way, and then I'm gonna turn myself up again too. It's just so difficult with Zoom. Yeah. Whoa! Thank you, Tribeca Castle, for the 100 gifted subs. Thank you so much. Whoa. Appreciate it. Tribeca, hello. That's amazing. I'm going to try to add the, also a timer to the screen. So if about nine mm -hmm. minutes has passed, my math is terrible. Yeah, I have eight uh, and a half. 36 passed. minutes left. Mm -hmm. 36 minutes left from the match, from this segment. Approximately. Yeah, queen c8 yeah, and queen d7 is checkmate mm -hmm. here. This is really, really bad for um for Eric. Just the whole king he side, no play. He, yeah. he, he walked all the way back to e8, uh, but there's no way to hide the king even there. Actually, he's ready to castle king side. <laughs> if he could. <laughs> if he could. <laughs> I, I actually, you know, Anna, I remember there was a first Saturday tournament in uh, in Budapest, and um, I, I forget what year it was, but there was a game that actually Voss Rylik, the program for Ripka, played, and I think he was playing a German IM at the time, and in that game, because they weren't using digital boards, uh, they, they both used a lot of time. Both players got low, and, and I think, like, I think the king went to, like, 
I, I think I don't I don't think the castle, but I think the king went to like d8 or c8, and it got chased mm -hmm. back to e8 in the time scramble. The guy then castled his king, and neither player realized, and so like the game, the like the whole game itself is like the game score got messed up because it was an illegal move, but neither player realized it. Jeez, that that's so funny though that now this cannot happen because of the digital uh, recording system and such. But it oh right. beautiful bishop checkmate in the end of the game. Mm -hmm. This is the first win for Levy. Yeah. I'm gonna add that to the screen and also I'm trying to add a timer. B six, so he's going for. Um, what setup do you think he will go for overall? Double fianchetto or more of a just a queens in the I would expect style? e6 here. Yeah, e, mm -hmm. Levy's gonna play e6 and probably knight f6. Try to keep it more flexible here and play like knight f6 and d5 or maybe okay. bishop b4 as well. Mm -hmm. What what are the shades of our colors? But Levy's wearing like mustard, right? Isn't that his color? I think so. I think that's mustard, and and Eric's one is more of the same as as your yellow. Yeah, we're lemon, wearing like traditional yellow. traditional yellow, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. It was so funny because when Eric joined the call, Levy looked at him like, <laughs> "What are you wearing?" And Eric said that he was watching Levy's stream, so he was wearing a different hoodie. But then realized <laughs> that Levy is wearing yellow, so he had, he changed back to the one he wore at the match because mm -hmm. this is the one Eric had on for the speed chess match. Oh, that's right! I forgot. That's true. Yeah, yeah. He he was wearing um. Yeah, he was wearing this one. Yeah, this Levy is, uh, Levy is Levy's wearing, wearing the, mustard, the yeah. galaxy one. Yeah, the, the NASA hoodie. Mm -hmm. NASA. Yeah. I never managed to pronounce it properly. Um, Wait, what did you say? What was that? NASA, because it's, it's more than an S sound in, in English, right? Because in How Hungarian, it? it was uh, N A S A. Oh, NASA. NASA, or... yeah. Because in Hungarian, it's more of a Z, a Z sound, because we don't translate it obviously, but we say it differently. And that's why I always, like, I'm confused how do you pronounce it properly. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, they say NASA. Um... NASA. That was yeah. the hoodie. That was the winning hoodie today. It's a mustard hoodie. We shall see whether it also brings luck to Levy. Right, right, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I should update the scores. That's right. Um, let's see. Tribeca, thank you for the 100 gifted subs on my channel too. You're insanely supportive. Thank you. Jeez. I was already celebrating on a garbage dinner. You don't have to, you don't have to <laughs> gift on all four channels. There's going to be a lot of gifted subs if you do that. Thank you so much. In Eastern Europe, we do say NASA instead of NASA. Don't need any American stuff around here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that. I just meant I was curious about the literal tra translation or like not translation, but pronunciation. Translation, I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, by the way, I do. I, I I think Eric is much better here objectively with the two bishops long term, but I think it's quite hard to play um, mm -hmm. because Levy has very thematic ideas like f5, f4 here to try and attack the bishop and the king on e1. I like that he has this f5, f4 idea, which is a, a simple and logical one. Why for Eric, uh, it's gonna be more difficult to come up with a concrete plan. What what would be some of your thoughts here for the pair of bishops? How do you open up the position and what will the king do? This e1 king. Yeah, so I think the first thing you do is probably you want to move the you want to be able to play f3 to kick that knight out of the g4 square. So in order to do that, you need to protect the e3 pawn. So something like queen to e2 here would make quite a bit of sense. Um, although as the more I look at it already, I don't knight e6 levy is going to go knight d8. I assume if knight e6 should go knight d8 to try and trade the knights back off. So it's Sorry, it's I still better. I think what you want to do. For a second, I'm with you, mm -hmm. Hikari, which is that suddenly my my board went crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so I think like here what you want to do is at some point since knights are coming off, you probably want to play f4 and attack the center um, and then reroute the bishop long term around to c3. And then you also want to play for b4, a5. Those are the two ideas that white has. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we're going to see any of those ideas. And now between these two knights, the, the tension between the two knights, knight takes f7, uh, knight e6. Mm -hmm. Any other options here for white when it comes to um, what are the moves you look at i mean well we eric sure enough plays to... another move <laughs> I but isn't this predicted. just a free pawn uh yeah what happens if if now levy takes on g5 twice oh i don't understand what's the plan i don't i don't i don't know we'll i mean maybe he wants to go f4 goes for it 
Levy goes for it, so we shall see. Eric is, yeah, Levy has that look on his face. I was just looking at his cam, like, what just happened? Did he hang a pawn? Yeah. Queen h6. Yeah, now g5, h4 is a huge threat, too. Yeah, Eric must have sacrificed the pawn. He didn't miss this, but the question is, what is it that he wants? f3, g4. Seems like the way to go about it is sacrifice so that you can open up the position. If, if I'm if I'm Eric here, I might maybe I'm going king d2 to protect the pawn so I can push f3, because then I'm guarding it with my king and my queen. That's probably what I would do. Mm -hmm. Oh, so so Levy's weird look was the gifted subs, not um not the position. Oh, apparently, that's what Tribeca. I heard. <laughs> also on Levy's channel. Thank you so much for that. I really thought it was because of the move, because that was surprising enough too. So you know what's interesting about this position is that uh, Eric is trying to play like alpha zero. He's trying to play kind of a long term idea with the two bishops, where now he can put the bishop on g5 and it's always supported by a pawn. Um, and then maybe reroute the light square bishop at some point. But I don't think it quite works here because black doesn't have to close the center. Black can go queen g7 and rook e8 and open up the e-file here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Castle, rook e8. And after rook e8, we shall see... e4 would be what white wants to open up everything, but now it feels like with the knight on g4, it's even Levy who will be happy about the, the opening because the, if you get your queen to d4, that king on g1 is the one that will become the main target and not the black king. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Yeah, so I mean, I think... I love Levy's position here. I think the important thing for Levy is that he does not close the center. Really important that he takes on f4 and he does not push e4. Because yeah. like, if you think about it conceptually, you have the rook on this open, open file potentially. Mm -hmm. You want open files for your rook. So to play e4 and close it would be a big mistake then the rook has no scope so opening mm -hmm. up the the file for the rook is really really critical here it's interesting that all these concepts that we learned that for the pair of bishops you need to open up the position so you would think that black should try to keep the position closed for the knight mm -hmm. but here as you explained it's important that this rook only aye, 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 gets aye, into aye, the game three. it's happening a rookie three it's and a double stack yep and it's so easy to make these moves so it, even if it's mm -hmm. not winning on the spot black pieces are so active uh it's a pawn up for levy really active pieces i think it's gonna be a 2-0 start for levy looking great for the match yeah like rookie eight is yeah i mean you just again open file put your rooks on the open file rooks are very strong on open file all the time um and yeah this is really really bad for eric it's crazy how that first game Eric should have won, and now it's go it's going it's going downhill very fast in the second game. A4 is a yeah. strong move here to undermine the chain, and then you can put the bishop on A6, also rook A3. He might just go rook E1 as well. Okay, I don't bishop C is kind of unnecessary, but it's still winning. I was trying to add the timer, but I messed it up. Sorry, Carl. I'm also trying to troubleshoot here. I know, no, no, it's all good. It's all good. Take your time. It's all good. I think I fixed it. I think it's it's working for now. Yes. Yeah, Maybe it wasn't the most accurate this execution by Levy. No, um, it, it definitely it wasn't. Seems Be because Anna, you, you know what you yeah. look at now? You look at the look at conceptually when you look at the position. This this light square bishop for levy it's kind of walled in by pawns like these white pawns there's nothing on the diagonal but also it's walled in by his own pawns on on g on g6 and f5 specifically so you have no, you have no scope for the bishop here so after king f1 yeah. i'm not so sure oh but eric takes and oh does he want to go bishop d8 or something that's too slow though that's just too bishop slow bishop d8 to try to collect all the pawns in the dark squares but yeah, it feels like it's slow. B3 is hanging, and then A4. Basically, mm -hmm. both structures are in a way that if one of them falls, if the base of the pawn chain falls, all the other pawns should be falling too, one mm -hmm. by one. There's also another big problem, though, which is there is G3 and rookie one. There's G3, bishop f5, bishop d3, which is just winning the game here. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Levy is on fire. Bishop f5, bishop d3. Ooh la Whoa. la. It's Ooh happening. la la. Very queens. nice. Nicely Very nice. done this checkmate pattern, the, the back rank, the G, G3 pawn winning the game. Great start for Levy and Eric will have to make a huge comeback after this because Blitz is where he's supposed to be mm -hmm. somewhat in a, at an advantage, at a little bit of an advantage. Yeah, but also, you know what, like FG4, like you see again, do you see F takes G4 is a great move because what it did it do? It freed the bishop up. The bishop was walled behind. Like, mm -hmm. so, so, so the, the basic concepts are really being shown in these games. Really, really important. Very, very true. 
such an instructive match. Nebi is mm -hmm. now going for the d4 openings, uh, which we more likely were to predict. And b5, Eric has played us in their speed chess match. Right. This is, as someone in my chat said, this is not Eric. I know Eric from YouTube. So I guess, I guess Eric's <laughs> not playing like YouTube Eric so far. But again, I think for, for Eric, it's probably that second game is just a little bit rattled after the first one. But mm -hmm. I'm sure he'll get back in the groove here. Yeah. I, I think he will at some point, but so far Levy definitely seems to be in great shape while Eric still has to find himself and, and score. You need to, mm -hmm. even if it's a half a point, you, know, you, need, you need to, as my trainer used to say, you need to, you need to first s sign up for the tournament in a way that you make a point, even if it's half a point, but you know, you need to start somewhere. Half yeah, you know, it's, it's funny that you say that because when, when, I, when, I, was, when I was young um, and I play, well, when I was like master low, I was like 11, 12. There are periods where, like, I, I might go on a streak, win a couple of games, but I could also lose a few games. I know, like, at least in the Russian squad, I don't know if it's the same in, in H Hungary as well, but, um, you know, they, they always say after a loss, you make sure to draw the next game. Like, you always make sure that yeah. you don't go on a losing streak. And I was just kind of yeah, curious. Yeah, you stop the bleeding. For... Yeah, that? exactly. You stop the bleeding in a sense that mm -hmm. uh, you, you just need to make sure that you don't go on losing streaks. In a... And also that when you start with a losing streak, exactly, just like... Whoa, 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 what's going... Whoa, whoa, what's, what's, whoa, 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 what, what just happened? Sorry, sorry to cut you off, Anna. Yeah, what yeah, just no, happened? No, 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 this is more important. What's going on on the board? Wait a second, we missed this part. Knight takes d5. Uh, the diagonal, e takes, bishop takes. So the rook is hanging, and after knight c6, bishop takes c6. Black uh, is losing that at least the piece. Knight b6. Was this... No, this is still fine for white, isn't it? What did... Um... Was there a trick? I don't know. The bar went way down. I, I don't have the lines open, so I'm not looking at the lines. Um, but maybe Bishop G2 is wrong for some reason, because the bar has gone all the way down for me, at least. Maybe it's coming um, back up, but... Yeah, I'm looking at what the evaluation and the line is suggesting, and it still says Bishop G2, even if it's judging it, so I'm not sure. I but, guess it's just the depth of the engine is not Isn't very... Knight C6 just fine for black, or black's up a piece? Yeah... Maybe you go uh, queen a4 and then rook d1. That's an idea, I guess. Try to play in the center. This is a strange one. It felt like knight takes d5. Levy found this idea that he could sacrifice a piece to then win the rook on a8. But maybe he missed knight to b6, where black will get two minor pieces for the rook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm wondering if Eric can take on d3 and put a knight on b4, because you've overextended on the queen side. So like bishop d3, pawn takes knight to b4, and your knights are planted, because this pawn can't can't go back to remove the knight since you push it too mm -hmm. far up the board. Mm -hmm. Knight d4, offering I did see the this. d5 knight for free, because then when he takes on e2, the d3 knight has no defense. So you trade queens and bishop takes Ooh. d3. Is that the line? I love it. I love it. Actually, for some reason, I missed that you could, um, after takes, you could just take e2. Yeah, this actually looks really good, and and the bar actually loves it too. Ooh, and if Lavi has to go back to D1, that's a very bad sign. To be down a piece and retreating your queen to D1. I feel like Black's winning here somehow. I, I mean, the bar says Black is winning. Um, mm -hmm. It's a move. Can you maybe just go Rook B8, Knight B3? Plays it. That's what he's playing. Logical to step out of the long diagonal. Yeah, I mean, Levy is, uh, I think Levy's going to lose this game. You know, it's it's crazy, Anna, how their style, the way they're playing this match is like, it's night and day from their match they played in the in the uh, Speed Chess Championship, where yeah. I'm sure because it was competitive, there were nerves and, and all sorts of things going on. They, they, it felt like they were there were not many tactical skirmishes. Like, the players were not mm -hmm. playing crazy, wild games with sacrifices. And here they're playing, like, sacrifices every single game. So it's it, it, it shows that, like, Depending on the situation, uh, with like nerves and, and how you play, it can it can vary quite a bit. Very true. I'm I'm happy to see that they are going this sharp in this match, and I think you're right that it helps that it's not part of a a tournament like the speeches championship where everything was at, at stake. That is, you don't <laughs> qualify to the next stage if you don't if you don't score enough points. But here right. they are perhaps more ready to to take risks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is already game over. So if you take with a pawn, black just takes on c5. Now you go knight b4, knight c2, fork the rooks. And you do have bishop f4, though, mind you. Maybe, oh, 
I, he put the wrong knight there. I need to put the other knight down. So the other knight's on rookie yeah. one. There was a knight f3 fossil. He put the wrong knight <laughs> on c2, and now it's it's still good, but it's actually it's not so clean. So now that he chose the wrong knight to go to c2 with, uh, is he going to then take either of the rooks? Uh, he still has one more move if he mm -hmm. wants to. He could move the rook away from b8 as well. He plays rook c8. Yeah, which is actually a good move because now the pawn on c5 is under attack. So queen e8, of course. Whoa. What? Wait, wait a second. What? There's something wrong with that. Can't you go rook d8 and rook d7? Oh, wait, no, sorry, you have a rook on a1 that's hanging. Never mind. So both queens are hanging, and even though it's up a piece for black, something is wrong with this position. It feels wrong, but I, I could just be crazy. No, the, the bar went back to about almost equal with the piece down and it's hanging rook. It's, what is it that we are missing? Queen e4. Now the queen has to move. Oh, you can only move to e8 to keep guarding the e7 bishop if you want to hold on to that bishop. Mm-hmm. And after queen e8, is it yep. just that the black pieces are so tangled up? The rook is stuck on f8. Um, the rook from a a1 will go to c1. Yeah, it's probably you're just all tangled up. Yeah, queen e8, rook c1, and then your knights are just not doing much. And you also can't use your your rook on f8 or your bishop. Everything's just really stuck here for black. All your pieces are just tangled up. They can't. They yeah. you, if you could magically move rook c1, it's just you're too tangled. Your your everything is just kind of really stuck here it's really weird and now isn't there bishop d6 oh yeah yeah oh yeah 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 bishop d6 with the attack of the two rooks suddenly the tables are turning and maybe lev is going to win this game too he was down a piece he was down a piece and he's back in the game yeah wow. i think you have to go rook a5 here but it's it goes rook c8 Okay, so bishop f8, queen f8 is probably... I Actually, I like rook c8 by Eric Rose in here. It's a good move. Because if bishop b4, you trade the queens and take the bishop on b4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. So that at least the pieces are more... Uh, in somewhat more harmony. And now maybe yeah. he could get out of this. It's still so strange that the decision that he went to c2 with the d4 knight. I guess mm -hmm. he didn't realize that there was this counter chance opportunity for Levy. Right, and and so I think I think in this position now, um, in, in this position now for 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 Levy, he's just much better because again, look at these knights; they're just they're tangled up. They can't do much. Um, and White's going to go down and win this a seven pawn at some point. Yeah, for instance, now if Rook to d seven. Um, yeah, that, that's an attractive move to have the rooks on the seventh in general. He plays queen b7 also makes sense. You know, e3, e3 is. Pieces. I was just gonna say, e3 is a very underrated move. So what it did was it stopped the knight from coming back into the game. So if we look at the position mm -hmm. now with queen b7, there's no knight move. The knight is just stuck on c2 because the pawn stops it. You so are it's, right. It's a, a very, very nice classy move. move. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I queen didn't a5? pay that much attention to it, but it was what a very did, strong move. Uh, uh, what did Levy just do? Wait. Wasn't wasn't rook d7 just winning after queen c5? Yeah, it felt like that rook could have gone to d7 for the past couple of moves already. Why is he not playing it? Was he afraid that there's something with the c1 rook um, being unprotected, that the back rank is vulnerable? It's possible, yeah. I mean... <laughs> but now he no longer has an advantage. I mean, black's pieces um... are still kind of tied up a little bit. A5, uh, rook b4, oh, uh, rook b4? That should be, maybe it's not enough for a draw though, because black can move the rook and get the pawn to b2 if you play rook b4 here. What a crazy game this has been with the piece sacrifice and now back and mm -hmm. forth. Levy was winning and now not winning anymore. Maybe he can still lose this too? No, he can definitely lose. Pawn. This is a pass pawn, a4, a3. Yeah. No, what is 91? Ah, ah, I mean, let Where me... Where is he going? Why is he giving up the A pawn for the oh, there's pawn? Oh, but you know what? There, I forgot there's no increment this time. <gasps> oh! That's why. Oh, of course. There's Eric no increment. Eric is going to win yeah. on time. Block. King G6. Oh. Six seconds left for Levy. No increment. This is oh, no, all no. the time. What did Eric just do? Oh, no. 
Okay, now levy the trick and just take the pawn and... Right, but it still should be a draw if Eric is fast. If, if Eric's fast, it'll be a draw. Oh my. Oh my. Rook up for Levy. And now if he loses on time, at least it's only half a point. He, he cannot lose the game. There's no pieces for black. Eric's got One no time. He's oh! gonna lose. Yeah. Eric's gonna lose on time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I saw that coming from a mile away. What? Yeah, I, I mean, that's why if, if you get like Rook versus King, technically speaking, the way Levy played that was really, really good. Um because he, he kept checking and then moving the rook to the wrong file to prevent free moves. The, the, t the technique by Levy was really, really good there at the very end. Uh, er Eric was too slow there when he had like the 10 seconds. He kind of just had to keep the knight close to the king and um, and just like move the king all over the place and make the draw versus what he did where he let the time get too close. And then the, then with the king and the rook, you can, you can flag. That was insane. I thought he was going to lose on time. I was mm -hmm. rooting for him to at least take the last pawn so that he is only losing half a point. And Levy's so confident, he just stands up. It's like, you know, my time is ticking, <laughs> but I, I'm leading 3-0. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty harsh. Okay, Le Levy, did Levy just get up to go use the restroom, or is he, uh, is he feeling some kind of ecstasy from that one? Oh, he's back, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh it feels more like an emergency maybe he he had to oh he went to get a waffle door. okay okay <laughs> oh okay that is an emergency that is a serious emergency and he's showing it to his viewers the the food he has just gotten this setup what do you think of the structure he has gone for for this fourth game yeah, I mean, objectively, this is a very bad opening for Black. This is the hippo or the hippopotamus with a pawn in a5. Um, but I, I think it, it depends how well your opponent knows the themes. Because if your opponent knows which pawn to push on e5 or d5, or they know to put the knight on g3 and a5, you can mm -hmm. end up um, you can end up like just losing here. So objectively, it's a very bad opening. We'll see if Eric plays knight g3 and knight h5 to to counter this. I also don't like the pawn in a5 here for Black. Uh, it's not really doing a whole lot, so I'd rather be on a7 or a6 here. I wonder why he pushed it to, to a5 um, at such an early stage, but it's what it is. The pawn cannot go back. It's already there. Yeah. And he's thinking now whether, I'm guessing whether to castle or if you don't castle, what other setup can he go for? Queen e7. Mm -hmm. So now knight g3 and knight f5 is a big threat here with the rook on e1. Oh, that waffle looks too good. I'm getting hungry. Oh, Lucy must have entered the room as well. Lucy, can you make a waffle for us too, please? If I actually, I mean, if I really wanted to go out of my way, or one second, I'll be. Oh no! Don't tell me, Hikari, you also have a waffle at hand. No, no, I, I have more yellow. I have all my yellow stuff. Oh, okay. I, have some, I have some more uh, yellow food. That's great. Now, yeah. today only yellow food is allowed. Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have a waffle. I have some bagels, but no waffles. Um, but yeah. Bagels are so nice, too. Do you prefer salty or sweet bagels? Um, salty, usually. Yeah, me too. It's terrible, but it, everything tastes better with salt. Hmm. B5, expanding on the queen side, ready to push A4 perhaps as well. And just to develop the light square bishop, finally it could go to B7. Still, this king side with the knight on h5 looking shaky for Levy. Right, now I think white can go d5 and g4 and just put a knight back on f5, maybe. You could also reroute the other knight, maybe knight h2, f1, g3, or e3. So I, I would probably move the knight from f3 here. I like the knight maneuvers here to get the Very knight nice. to g4. Yeah. It's just such a nice control of the light squares. Levy plays knight f6 to trade the knight on h5, but of course it's gonna be traded for the g7 mm -hmm. bishop. Good, good, good technical understanding here from um, from Eric. I really like how he's, how he's handling this game, and is that he lost the first three games, so psychologically, he's mm -hmm. in a very difficult spot. Yeah. I was trying to add the timer. I don't know how you did it, Hikaru, because every time I, I tab out of that window, it just freezes the time. So I, I removed it. Because oh, what I, are you couldn't... using for a timer? I just opened another browser. Oh, maybe I should open a different browser. I opened a Chrome browser to just Google timer and the 
time down, just a countdown. Yeah, but I mean, I usually I just, out. I usually use like uh, just live split. That's what everybody uses for like with mine, Minecraft. Um, and that's just a standalone. Oh. So it's like it's not one of those things where if you tab out, you have that issue. Oh really? What is it called again? It's just called live split. Live split, and that's yeah. a, a browser or an extension. It's you, you just download it. I mean, it's just a base. You just open it and you can just start oh, okay. for, for any game. It's what they oh, use for like it's for what they use time. for Minecraft and like the the the, the for uh, for Mario and all those other games. Oh, thank you for the tip because I I just couldn't figure out how. I, if every time I tap out, it freezes the time because I just yeah. opened the timer on Google and it doesn't. Yeah, do well, the job. well, you know, Anna. On that note, just make sure that you never you never stream with like a from like a laptop setup because I because that because if you only have if one monitor and you tab yeah. out like it just freezes the other window so yeah i have it, it three monitors sense. but even like this i still need to tap here and there so mm -hmm. maybe right. it'll, f it'll freeze it of course yeah um so levy's not doing great here there's f3 maybe there's also maybe a4 um i i don't know i don't know what's going on exactly here maybe queen e2 is a good move too to hit both pawns And if he does so, well, we shall see. We shall see now how Levy reacts. Uh, since both pawns are hanging, he's pushing c6 to guard the b5 pawn. What happens if bishop takes e4? Is there any way he can pin it with um, I don't e8? love bishop e4 because I think black can maybe trade. Trade and then go like rook e8 at some point, knight f6. Okay, I don't like rook e8 at all. He should have traded first because now f3 supports the bishop. Yeah. And after like bishop really d2 and it. queen f2, mm -hmm. white's just white's just winning here. Queen f2, white's just winning. Queen f2 and h4 or queen g3. I wanted to play rook e8 myself, but as you explained, it wasn't the most mm -hmm. accurate order. He should have taken on e4 first because now that the pawn is guarding the bishop, it will always be f takes e4, how white captures on e4. Right. Yeah, I, I think um, this is this is really good for white. Yeah, knight f4 is the move I'm looking at for Levy. Knight h5 to get that knight to f4. He still has some tricky ideas here, but the position is quite simple. And uh, it's already a pawn up for white. Also the, the time bishops. as well. The, the time is really critical. The True. fact that Levy's down a minute, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think, really helps helps uh, Eric here. There's also c4 I keep forgetting. as well. Yeah, I keep forgetting that there's no increment because if it was just a two... 5 plus 2, for instance. Any increment would help here, but mm -hmm. yeah, having no increment at all, this is this is rough. This is very rough. Yeah. Uh, Bishop b4 looks like a very good move here, too. Okay, d5 also playable. It gets the idea is you want to open up the diagonal for the bishop and then the queen. My queen d4, bishop c3. I will say, however, I don't love the way Eric has played this because now, after pawn takes, there might be some trick with knight d5 at some moment, too. Hmm, knight d5. Yeah, and then just put the knight back on f6, and it's it's not completely clear here. Mm hmm. So, okay, so queen d4. Oh, if knight f6, is there some, some trick? Oh, just bishop c3, maybe? He plays ooh, f6 ooh, is such a cometa move. Yeah, now just take the pawn. And and the end game is losing. Yeah. The knight on the rim is dim. It's completely boxed exactly. by the pawn on g3. Eric should win this game, especially with the time. You can just trade queens and go bishop b4 and just win the game. Yeah, that was such a downside of the, the pawn push. Yeah, now after f takes c5, the knight could come back. But it's too late. It's a pawn down end game. And the ace, ace and it's going to be an a pawn, drop. yeah. Yeah, yeah it will drop. And then that pass pawn is winning the game. Yeah, G4, nice. Yeah, now it's just over. Very nice game by Eric. Gets back on the scoreboard, and he's going to have a chance. So bishop a3 here, and you just use this a pawn. At some point, you just push, put the bishop back, threaten to play h4 and break the chain. You can also go a4, a5, but I think h4 here is good enough. Mm -hmm. Just take. Takes bishop Takes d2, and, and now the a pawn is yeah. way too fast. G5 also. Yes, the, the pawn's running on both flanks. You cannot stop both. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. that knight is too, too yeah, king slow F2, for this. D3, king e1. Mm -hmm. F6. Now, you should start running the a pawn here. King e2. 
I think basically for Eric, he needs to avoid the big time scrambles. If he's ahead on the clock by like 10, 15 seconds towards the end, I think he'll have chance. But if they get into like the, the mad time scramble where nobody has any time, I think he's going to lose. Okay, just King C6. And he's, he's going to lose the uh, majority of those. Yeah, nicely done by Eric. He's now winning his scoreboard. first game. It should add that point to Eric, his first win. He he did have winning chances in previous games, but this is the first one he actually managed to convert. This could be mm -hmm. the final Blitz game, right? I'm very likely it will be, yeah. Very, very likely. It's about five minutes left of this portion, and then we're going to move on to the 3-0, and mm -hmm. the final one will be the bullet. Right, exactly, yeah. Yeah, so, so far, I mean, Levy has, Levy has played very well. I think both sides played well. I don't like Levy's opening, by the way. I feel like this is a little bit too passive, perhaps, um, against yeah. Eric. So we'll, we'll see. But still, he's he's going to be leading at least after the first portion. So it's, it's pretty exciting. It will be interesting to see if he switches to other openings or what his overall strategy for this match and mm -hmm. which openings he chose. And depending on the time control, which ones will he switch to? I was surprised by the e4 push in the first one, and now that he's playing all these d4 openings, which was more normal, do you think he just mouse slipped or he literally wanted to? I think he wanted to play something different here. Just something different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, did Eric just drink out of the same mug that I have? He stole your mug. No. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes, in, in the theme. Yeah. The, 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 the theme, theme of the week, right? Yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> also, I think you said Eric, so that that actually that actually makes it a lot funnier. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> oh, it was it was Levy. Sorry, I I thought. No, it no, was no, Levy. no. It, it, no, no. I was I was making a reference to something completely oh, different. But anyway, oh, yeah. No, no. It's, oh, it's okay. all good. It's all good. I, I've, um, just yeah. I've just realized. I've just realized. Yeah. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so so. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know where what, what I was where I was going exactly, but anyway, um, yeah. So this opening is kind of interesting the the way that they both played this, uh, especially this queen b8 by Eric, because normally you put the queen on c7, not on b8. So it's kind of interesting the way you put the queen on b8, so you could play b5 here. Um, okay, but rook c1 is a good move. Maybe bishop g6 here, because if bishop g6, you can't go bishop d3 because takes takes takes, and you lose the bishop on b2. Bishop Very g6 is a point. great move. Ooh, is, is Levy actually just losing here? Because queen c3, b4, and your queen's trapped. Bishop g6, such a poisonous move. As you described, the b2 bishop mm -hmm. will be struggling after bishop d3, or the, there are no squares, only c3 or d1. Yeah, you play yeah. The bishop d3. Yeah, but just takes and bc4. Yep. You can also take on c4 right away, but I think you just take and then take. That would be better. Or, uh, Yeah, that, that looks right. Yeah, and now just bc4. Uh, Levy, queen a3, queen takes and queen a3. Levy, Levy thought he trapped the queen with rook b1. He doesn't trap the queen. There's queen a3. Oh, no. Will Eric oh, see it or no. not? All he has to see is queen b1, rook b1, rook, queen b2, rook b1, queen a3. That's all he has to see. And it's not a difficult one to see that the queen can go to a3 after rook b1. Yep. Okay, and now you take, so now you take the pawn, not to get your queen trapped, but you can play like bishop c5. Is a move knight c5 i don't think it's quite right but just takes takes and, and move your move your queen back get the queen back and then you're just winning c5 so that there's no queen a3 mm -hmm. but actually what do you so you you need to take on c5 yes i would take with the bishop pawn mm -hmm. takes and play like queen b7 that's what i would do here yeah that's very logical and mm -hmm. eric is considering other options what well, other options actually it feels like it's a must to take, or is he thinking that he could play queen? I mean, queen b8 is queen b8 is also a move, but I don't I don't think it's the um, mm -hmm. I, I don't think it's the best move that you that you play here. Okay, I don't like this at all. He should have just taken yeah. and moved the queen back, because now even though he's up a pawn, his pawn on c6 is extremely weak here, mm -hmm. like extremely weak. Like, he could have had a situation where he's up a pawn and white has a weak pawn, but now he's going to end up in a situation where he's up a pawn, but he has a weak pawn and the rook's on the open file, so you can, like, double up. You have queen a6, you have knight b3, knight c5, maybe knight e5 at the right moment as well. Um, so it looks it looks pretty... I mean, it's still... Ter well, that's probably back to c5, although there is queen a3 with the right triangle. 
It's still good for Eric, but it's very hard to play now. I mean, maybe, maybe you go Rook B8 and Rook B6 that you have the open this open file on the B line. Uh, but very I like hard. that rook maneuver, yes, at least that yeah. will be an active rook that also is guarding the c6 pawn. But his extra pawn is a backward pawn on c6, so this is certainly yeah. a lot more difficult to convert into a full point than if he had mm -hmm. taken on c5. Strange decision yeah. there. He must have been yeah. worried about something else. Yeah, I mean, I think Eric is okay, but I don't think he's really... It's going to be hard to win this because he's just... He's stuck... He's stuck guarding this pawn. It's an extra pawn, but it's um, it's it's hard to it's hard to use it here. Mm -hmm. True, very true. In terms of the time situation too, Levy is faster this time, so Eric cannot mm -hmm. just cannot just make a normal yeah. moves and then hope for the win on time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, is that our timer? Oh yeah, we went over forty-five. That's true. We did. We so did. This is, we went over, this is last game. game. Yes, last game. Is there is anything beeping on our Sorry. end or or their end? <laughs> What'd you say? Is it beeping on our? Oh wait, I think it's on my end. I was like, oh, I don't hear anything. Did we hear it too? Okay, because I had a timer set. I didn't know if it's beeping on on the call or if just for me. It was me. Oh, Apologies. Okay. That was my. So I didn't manage to put it on on the screen, but it was beeping for us. Yes, mm -hmm. the time is time is up. Yeah. Also, someone in my chat asked, is there anything on the line for us? Yes, you guys. So the winner is going to, I'm going to go online. I'm going to order a nice big basket of yellow lemons. That's going to be the big grand prize. So there is a reason. Everybody, everybody is, is a big fan of lemons here. Exactly. Um, exactly. Okay. So Rook takes C5, of course. And it takes it a knight. Uh, it's which also, also quite seems good, logical. Yeah. Just knight D7 and queen B6. Yeah. Knight D7 is completely fine here. Mm hmm Yeah. So finally, the c6 pawn, which was a backward pawn, was traded for the d4 pawn of Levy, and the c file opens up. This should be a very pleasant position for Black, but there's no increment, and Eric is going down to almost a minute at this stage. Yeah, I mean, the problem is it's very hard to play this position, I think. It's much easier for White than for Black. Um, the thing, though, is if he gets knight d7, he can, he can sort of, like, develop... Not develop, but he can consolidate this extra pawn very quickly. Like knight d7 here. Oh, but then rook b2. Uh-huh. There are tricks. He wants rook b2 and knight b5, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he blunders at rook, d rook b2 and knight b5. What can you do after rook b2? He just has to step into it? Is there any way out of this? Um, I don't see it. I mean, rook b oh, maybe rook b2 is some knight d3 trick. Rook b6, rook c1, king h2 take. D3. I mean, I don't know. Oh, uh, uh, nice uh, 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 what is that? You just take Levy. twice. Yeah. You just take twice. The... What is Levy doing? You just take twice. Oh, no. Oh, no. You just take twice. What is it that he, Levy's seeing here? He thinks there's something with the pin. You can't attack the c5. Oh, he wanted to play rook b2 now, but everything is guarded by the knights. Yeah, the ponies are awesome here, and this is just losing. You just play like I'm h6, puzzled. create the luft, and now move your queen and move your rook. Yeah, Eric's got to move faster. Like, okay, knight c4 is a great move though. He's gonna go knight c4 and just shut down the whole dia the sh the whole uh, file here. This is looking amazing now with all that c5 setup for black. Right, but I'm Eric's puzzled. down on the clock, though. He is down. Oh, yeah. This is the You're problem. right that this is still an issue. Yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be very hard for Eric to survive here. Okay, 96, of course. D, D4, Knight C4, or Knight D5, Knight D5 also, Knight C3, big threat. Oh, and I'm being told that there is over 40 thousand of you guys watching on all four channels combined wow. thank you so much for tuning in this is this is like a pop champs match at this stage Forty thousand people tuning into levy versus eric d3 d2 or knight c5 i mean eric would win this if he if he had time but i like i don't yeah like this d2 queen c5 okay queen c7 is fine queen a5 yeah, queen c1, 2, simply the same idea. Oh, oh no! no the... Oh no, it's just time. Yeah, it's, it's kind of what I said. I think, you know, at the end of the day, um, 
if they get into situations where time is even levy is just he's more experienced and he's quicker he's quicker when they get low on time that's what happens yeah oh. Chester, although, eric, this is yellow although don't forget eric decent. always tries to play to the end and hope for a stalemate true and yeah, so, so just, he's yeah. trying again yeah. but it didn't work oh, oh that was no. so brutal okay they're they're starting by the way so yeah um, levy with the black pieces he still hasn't made a move has he realized that the game is oh, no but I'm actually anna you it. know i noticed this this uh, i think last night chess.com weirdly enough they changed their um they changed the way the time works so if white white's time does not tick down at the very start white has to make a move before the clock starts and then black has to make a move oh. before the clock clock starts as well interesting what? that they changed it do you think it's it's better or worse like this for tournaments well i, th I think this actually proves and there's a there's a, there's a very nice conspiracy conspiracy theory that um <laughs> that i uh that i kind of i like i own chess.com or i tell them literally everything to do whereas i've been very <laughs> vocal um in that i think the clock should start the moment the game begins and not the other way around so actually um chess.com is kind of copying what what lee chess does and actually chess 24 mm -hmm. is the same thing i've been very vocal that i don't think that's how it should be um yeah when uh you know when the when the game starts it should just start so i'm kind of curious to find out because i did notice that last time i was like hmm that's definitely different so um yeah so the clock doesn't start until both sides have made a move I haven't noticed it until you pointed it out that mm. that was a difference earlier. And at the champions too, we certainly always feel like, especially if uh, your opponent is late, you are there waiting for the for the first moves to be made, and there's just no no punishment to arriving late basically at the champions tour because the time doesn't start ticking. Exactly. Yeah. So that's why I've always felt like once once the game starts, like um, I mean maybe you could say it, it's on White's turn, maybe like before white moves it should be that way but definitely i feel like if it's black's move um that then it should be running for sure 100 percent. although i think it should just be both sides it should be auto, auto start at a certain time and the clock starts from the beginning plain and simple yeah i agree with you especially for tournaments i don't know for in, like in general how it will affect the, the games on chess.com but for a tournament i certainly think that you need to show up at the right time yeah mostly mostly true not not it doesn't apply to all players at times but mostly, true. <laughs> mostly yeah, true. No, what do you mean he kind of... <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah it's time, time to start more drama that's just that's just what everyone needs right no, but the thing is i don't think magnus would mind it's not he's not asking for his time to not be taken away but there's no actually I, you're, I you're right that's actually true it, it is pretty funny when you think about it because like I don't think Magnus would mind, but yeah, but it, like yeah. he knows he's late, and he normally would lose time for being late. It's not him who who asked for this privilege. It's just how that works right. on the platform. Right. No. No. Actually, that that is that is very true. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of this position with the open G fight now that we uh, are back with the the blitz games, the three minute? So this has turned into like a Chagorin defense kind of black has two knights against two bishops um my understanding of it generally is that if white does not get a lot of pressure towards the black king side your queen side is very vulnerable especially with this bishop that's walled in by the pawns um so like if black can get this knight to c4 and the fact that white can't castle king like see he has the double stack and he's moved the rook if you castle queen side there are going to be a lot of threats down the c file for example so i think that um I think that like I, I like Levy's position. I, I would rather be black here. Although again, I just said that, and then I see the bar says 0.8 for white. So um, <laughs> so what do I know? I was gonna say that it looks more natural from Black's perspective, and I'm not sure what the E1 king will do. So I agree with you on that. It it looks easier to play from Black's perspective, and the bar started liking it more for Black because of these last few moves. Right, because now you have a knight. Now your bishop is just awful. It's stuck behind the pawn. It's a dead bishop basically, and and I think that's one of the hardest thing um, uh, about the about about some of these openings is like the bishops especially. It's really hard to know how to use them because they, they look like such easy pieces to, to maneuver but like there's a lot of strategy like here the bishop on b2 is just stuck behind the pawn it's just it's just a it's just a dead bishop and um and this is getting worse because of the bishop and, and the fact that white's king is stuck in the middle of the board it's a rough one for eric and the match continues very nicely in favor of levy i wonder if this game now with this e-file situation the king not finding shelter i don't know what what is it that er eric can even try to not get into trouble rook g3 is a good attempt because that guards e3 mm -hmm. yeah i think basically what eric has to do is at the right moment maybe try to reroute the bishop back around like bishop c1 or if he can trade the light square bishop and get access to the d file something like this mm -hmm. 
Okay, he goes Bishop C1, which I like. Um, I think Levy should probably go for a double stack on the F file here. It makes a lot of sense, like Rook F8 and Rook F6. Okay, B5. So Eric's going to manually castle his king. King G1 and Rook F1. Oh, he managed. Finally, the Rook is on F1 too. It's complete, mm -hmm. the castle. Yeah, but this is positionally lost. Look at this pony on C4 and this bishop on C1. It's just a dead bishop. Yeah, that's the issue with Eric's position that even though his king has survived, the knight is so much better in this position than the bishop because good knight, bad bishops, perfect story for it. Right, and so so basically what you what you see here is that if Eric can't go, if Eric can get e4 in at some point and open open up for the bishop, he's doing fine. Levy is down on time here though. Keep that in mind. So anything can happen here. Queen e4 is a nice move by, by Levy. Again, the fact that there's no increment. 21 seconds left for Levy. I'm curious what you will think about the crystals. Hmm. Which flavor do you have? Um, energy crystals. Um, but the uh, uh, apart from the energy crystals, do you have the? Diff is it the blue eyes or which one have you opened? Oh, sorry, I have. Uh, oh, sorry, I looked at it wrong. You're right. I'm stupid. Um, oh no, it, uh, it's um. So this is green apple. I have blue ice and I have um. I have uh sour cherry. Hmm. I tried the blue ice one, it's really good. And that was one of the original flavors. I read that there were only three flavors at the start and blue ice is one of the original ones. Yeah, Eric's, Eric unfortunately is gonna lose here. Yeah, less time for Levy, but up a queen already and more queens are coming. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Stalemate Steven strikes again. <laughs> Love is clapping for it too. You said this, Hikaru, that Eric will always try to get the stalemate. It's his trademark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty funny. I actually did that against him once too. It's 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 pretty funny when that happens. Um... Oh no, it ruins the scoreboard. Now we have to add that half point there right. somehow. Oh no. One and a half, one and a half. Well, it's still a big gap, but there's the first draw. <clears throat> okay. Are you supposed to eat like some small amount of these or you eat the whole thing, Anna? Um, I had like one third of it, but maybe I should have had all of it because then I then I wasn't doing well in the next Blitz games afterward. I should have had it all. Yeah. Uh, but it's supposed to be like pop candy so that it pops. Do you know those pop candy? Oh, so that's what that's like, why I was hearing popping in my ear. I was hearing popping. I, anyone who's yeah, watching saw I was hearing popping in my ear, so I was like, <laughs> no, no, well, what's going on? Don't chew it immediately. You should keep it in your mouth, and it's like pop candies. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was like, yeah, okay. I, 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 <laughs> I should yeah. have said it before. Yeah, yeah, because I, I think my chapter, like, what's going on? What is he doing? It's like, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> no, it's supposed to be popping. Yeah. Okay, what is this opening so by? This is very sharp. Edible, edible energy mm -hmm. formula. Yeah. G5 and D4. All right. Yeah. Huh. Is this still theory? Definitely not. Um, but I wonder about E5 if that was theory because it felt like that was a... Um, Eric played that too quickly for it to be random. So I think this might be some kind of theory. I don't know what exactly. Hmm. Uh, maybe B6 here and Bishop B7. You have to stop C5, I thought. Oh, this is maybe also good because you can rotate the Bishop to G6 to, to blunt the Rook on the file. Yeah, bishop. I, I like this. Bishop g6, and you, you just blunt the bishop. There's no threat. This is this this is pretty good. Pretty good from uh, from Eric. I would go bishop g6 here. Yes, very nice. Take with the, the, h1. the g5. Although there is h4, h5, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe a5. Okay, queen e7 and bishop b4 make some sense here. Maybe a5. Again, opposite color, opposite color, but opposite side castling. But I was gonna say that we have seen some of these sharp positions where both of them can attack on the opposite flank. Bishop mm -hmm. b4 instead of a5. I think it's a reasonable move. I'm worried about this h5 push though at some point and white getting a double double stack on the g file. I do not, however, like h5. So I think now after takes, there's knight e4 here. There's also gh5 and g6, I think, which is completely fine. D takes C3, and now Eric takes with the knight on H5. Don't know if I love that, but if 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 Levy does not take right here, and you get the knight back to F6, black can go like king F8 and rook D8, and it's it's completely fine. Mm -hmm. 
so I, I think in, in general terms, uh, this is like, I, I, I would say that Eric is better here. And it's also easy to play because you can put the Rook in the center of the board. There isn't much going on um, in terms of the position. Like you can put the Rook on D8. Um, although actually, I'm, for some reason, I didn't see Queen F5. That's actually a very good move by Levy. Queen F5 is annoying because the pawn is hanging and Rook D7 is a threat as mm -hmm. well. Probably just Rook D8, Queen F6, and E4. That's what I would do. No, that's that's what I would say. That, that's what makes the most sense. So queen h5, queen f6, um, and I think I, I think it's completely fine. Queen h5, and now if anyone, it's Eric who has to be careful still with that open agent g file around his king. Mm -hmm. Right. Good thing for Black that you can trade the, one of the rooks on d1 and uh, there's not much material left on the board. But he yes. has to be careful and they're yeah, down queen to a six. minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Queen f6 is the important move because it guards the pawn on g7. Like queen f6, rook h1, you have g6, so the queen holds h8. So it's a very, like, it's a triple purpose move. It hits the pawn f2, you can maybe push e4 and hit the pawn on c3, and it guards the pawn on g7. It's a very nice move by Eric. It's like the, it's like a sunray or something. I, I don't know what you call it. It's like a, it's like a wooden shield and a sunray. <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Queen of six indeed has happened such a useful one. Now G6. Mm -hmm. What is it that Levy should do here next? Because now that the king is e4 so maybe? safe. Okay, A4, B4, E4 maybe. Both kings are kind of safe and not safe at the same time. Yeah. But I think Levy's king is a little bit more open. So he does play b4. I would probably go e4 here. Okay, go c5. Tries to give Le Levy, if he takes, we'll have the tower of power. Trades rooks. I don't like this. I think that was a very bad move by Levy because f2 is hanging. I think we want to go e4. 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 I no, like e4. e4 a lot to open up the long e4. diagonal, but Eric doesn't want to play it. He pushes the a pawn, plays rook a8, queen, oh, queen a6. Queen a4 is a threat now, too. You have to be very careful. Yep. Queen a4 is a threat. That's a big one. King rook a2. C8. b5, maybe? Now, who is doing better suddenly with this rook on d5? Rook c4. It rook looks c4. like Levy's position is fine. Queen a6. Queen a6. Yep. Equal material, but that a file attack rook is looking is good. scary. Whoa, what a rook beautiful move shifting the rook to the king three. side. Nice. Queen c3. E6. Rook h1. Yep, there you go. Eric wins. Gets on the scoreboard. Four and a half, two and a half. We have a match. Second point for Eric. That was that was a very important point for Eric from a position that could have gone either way. It was really mm -hmm. messy and they were low on time. But you see, Eric was up on time. That was kind of my point. If he's up like 10 to 15 seconds, he has a mm -hmm. legitimate chance. But if he ever gets to where it's like 10 seconds each or five seconds each, he's just going to lose every time. So he really needs to be ahead by like 10 to 15 seconds at the very end mm -hmm. of the game. I was wondering how many times we're going to see the London. And this is for now only the first one, isn't it? And this this setup against the London Bishop D6 and the Queen C7. This is also the one you showed to to XQC, isn't it? Um, when he mm -hmm. played against Stardosh. I think this is the one you suggested to him as well. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. Trade on f4, but in a way that this is an extra pawn. Wait a second. Normally, normally you are not. Okay, D takes C5, and then I I was confused for now because the the C pawn wasn't taken back. But you can take twice on f4. Is this normal to allow this? Um. I think this can happen from time to time where you go like b4 and knight b3. Mm -hmm. So just to create an imbalanced structure um, with the pawn majority for white on the queen side. Right, and I guess you go queen e2 and castles. Yeah, this seems very logical. What is it that black will do? Is it just simply... How do you develop knight c6? Knight c6 I don't like, actually. Um, I don't like this either. I feel like everything revolves around the e5 square. Hmm. And now I don't think you can take with this the, the b8 knights of c6 and the knight e5. So you have to take with the f knight. Um, that's still very, very reasonable. Maybe c4 here. Hmm. So next move for well, finally you can play knight c6 and at mm -hmm. some point e5. Yeah. 
yeah now it's i mean it's again i think pretty pretty balanced here um knight c5 is reasonable maybe just rook e8 with the idea of e5 pretty balanced though mm -hmm. do you know what thirsty mm -hmm. monster is that <laughs> just reading eric is a considered person he spent time playing thirsty monster on his birthday nice mm. of him what, yeah, Thirsty Monster that? is a streamer. Yeah, he's a streamer. He's like 14 years old, I think, about like 2000, maybe, roughly. Oh, oh, I thought it was it was a game reference. Oh, the streamer. Okay, yeah. I'm. I was. I'm I mean, maybe, maybe there's completely... a game reference. Maybe there's a character. I wouldn't be shocked, but yeah, it's a reference to the streamer. Yeah. Okay. Now, now I understand more the comment. That mm -hmm. is so nice of him, though. That is so nice. I was like, what is Thirsty Monster? <laughs> <laughs> it's a monster. That's, it's a monster that's thirsty. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. A lot, a lot of yellow nice. in my chat right now, too. So those of you who are just tuning in, it's a very yellow day. Or, I should yellow say that. That, that yellow taken out of context. Yellow chimps, it is. Never mind. That could be taken out of context. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. I guess you can play knight f3 here. Um, is there, there's no queen e5, right? There's just rook d8. Um, yeah. Play knight e4, hit the pawn of b5. Um, maybe just knight f3 here, maybe f4. Very uh, balanced time-wise, mm -hmm. this game. Yeah. Yeah. And also the position. This is perhaps so far the closest in terms of material and also time management. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is uh Yeah, this is pretty um it's pretty balanced, but I would rather be black here because E5, E4 uh is playable. Yeah, I really like the central control that black can have, why it's not so easy to mobilize the queen side of white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again this knight on C4 is really good because you can't remove it and it's permanently attacking B2 and A3. It's such a strange one that you have these three pawns for white on the queen side and only the b5 and partially the d5 pawn stopping it. But because of the knight being on c4, you can't really mm -hmm. push any of the pawns. Right. So it's like the, 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 the one pawn and the knight dominate the three pawns. So the majority is actually uh, not great on the queen side, whereas black is a big majority in the center. Uh, knight b4. Uh, 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 oh, uh, oh uh, the d5 pawn will fall. Uh, 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 uh. Oh this no, is getting bad let me now. miss this. He pushed the He's e still up on time though, moment. so... Yeah, he, but he has to speed up again. Like, he, he shouldn't spend yeah, this Rook much B5. time on on a moment where he blundered. Rook B5. Yeah, now now the three pawns are free free to go up the board. Now this is looking very bad for Levy. If these pawns get rolling, like, like A4 and A5, I mean, it's just winning. Maybe King G2? 40 seconds for both. Eric's got to go, though. You got to go. Like, King G2. Okay. Yeah. He's trying to reroute the knight to E3, which I like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that rook is a bit lost now. Knight E3, maybe? Knight D1, he hung the rook! What? Oh, 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 uh... oh, Levy. Oh, wow, this is... Oh, no, a mini meltdown. Wow, okay. Who knew? Who knew? I actually I thought Levy would do better in the three, but you know I think this is the other thing is when you get a big lead, it's very easy kind of to relax for a game. If you lose a game and your opponent gets a lot yeah. of confidence, and it can start swinging the other way very very quickly. Um, yeah, because Levy was leading with a, a three point lead. That's huge. But you're mm -hmm. right, psychologically, uh, you might relax a little bit and think that this is this is your match. Everything is going great. Right. And yeah, everything has been going great up until now. Okay, so let me try to play the Ponziani opening? or something. What is C3? Yeah. Or no, he's trying to play a Dan some kind of a bridge Danish, I guess. So castles. Wait, why do you take? Oh, does he have Queen E6 or something? Queen C4? This, is maybe this, this is offering some kind a repetition of, of moves? Queen D4? Oh, no, That's he's a free Oh, uh, Levy, don't tilt. Queen D4. That's just a free pawn. Queen takes d4. He, maybe Eric he's just gonna grab. He's gonna C3. grab everything here. He's taking the pawn on c3 instead. Let Queen me play king f1. What? I'm I'm so not understanding what is Levy doing right now. Is Levy tilting? I think Levy might just be tilting. Maybe that's what he's doing. <laughs> okay, this this is too much. much. This, this is just too much. Now you're now you're down a piece. Bishop b4. This is the, just too much. Just too much by Levy. Of course, we'll see what Eric does. I mean, er Eric has a lot of time here, um, but he should win this game. He, he's going to be up a piece here. This is this is really bad for Levy. 
Eric is taking his time, but if he just gets the bishop away from c3 so that it can't be taken, it doesn't look like Levy will have anything. He's down a piece, his king had to go to f1. This looks like a disaster, unfortunately. Yeah, but, but Eric is thinking for way too... I mean, it's still okay, but I don't know if Eric's going to actually end up material here. That's the thing. Like, he's definitely still doing very well. Okay, bishop e3. I think now just queen d7 and bishop d6 and black's just winning. Just queen d7 and bishop d6. He okay, I don't like that move. Now a3. Still bishop a5, queen b7, rook b8 is winning too. Bishop a5, yeah. rook b8, knight e7, bishop b6, game over. Just bishop a5 and rook b8. Yeah, and the key is that the queen is guarding the c6 knight. I think that's mm -hmm. why you were saying queen d7 too, so yeah. that it's, it's placed um, well for queen takes yep. b7, rook b8. If that pawn is taken, just rook b8. This is crazy. Oh, well. I, I think Levy just tilted the, after that last game, kind of just hanging the rook. Yeah. We're going to have a tied certainly. match, though. We're going to have a tied match, I'm pretty sure. Overall, I guess it's not too bad, but it feel feel bad for Levy. But if Bullet is his forte, he will still do well in the match overall. Mm -hmm. But he started so well, you can't believe that now it's tied. It was the same story for Eric in the speed chess match, but the other way around. Eric was leading there with three points. Right, that's that's whoa okay bishop b okay this okay this, this is um, <laughs> okay um yeah oh no yeah this is i mean this is too levy much. well he's trying <laughs> he's trying to create here. something yeah i mean this is just yeah just over yeah oh this my. is i mean this is uh I will say, however, I'm happy because I, w I was worried when Levy won those first three games that it might just be a blowout. Um, yeah. But yeah, this is uh, he's, he's going to lose this game. In unless Eric makes a blunder in the next like 20 seconds. Um, you know, like just rook e8, rook f3, queen e Okay, just, you can even just trade, but just like rook d8 is good enough. Knight h4. Yeah, just so many moves are good knight here for F4. black. Whether yeah. knight h4 bring the rook to the d file, up a piece and up on time as well. Well, not not, not a piece anymore. No, I'm sorry, but up, up on material and up on time. Mm -hmm. And everything is just so. Yeah, Ooh. Eric sees it. Yep. Yeah. Wait, but actually, wait, this isn't so clear because no, you still take taking king h8. There's no back rank mate. There's just no mate. Yeah, you take king h8, and there's no no queen f8. Yeah, because like of the knight on g6, there's no queen f8. Unfortunately for Levy, even that trick isn't working here. Wouldn't have been a trick. It would have won the game straight out. Mm -hmm. He's trying h4 with the idea to chase the knight away and then queen f8. Right. Queen b5. Black is faster with this attack over the bishop on f1. And I don't think there's a defense. I, I don't see it. I'm updating my score because I, I think Eric's going to win this game. <laughs> <laughs> wow, four and a half each. Crazy. Yep, this is gonna be this is gonna be the game that ties the score. Four and a half. You, you know, you know what might have tilted Levy was actually the stalemate because he was completely winning in that game. True, and he knows that Eric always aims for stalemate. So mm -hmm. no, going into the match knowing that, and still he stepped into the stalemate. That must be so frustrating. You're right, right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's not the waffles, guys. I know that there are many theories about the waffles uh, are the ones to blame in the chat. I, I've seen it <laughs> we mentioned by so many of you. Um, no, it might be the stalemate more than the waffles, or both. Back to the structure, but now a little bit of a different setup, though. Uh, mm -hmm. Double fee and get the buff with the pawns on d5 and c5. Yeah. Yeah, Eric's doing the same set of this queen b1, bishop d3 setup. <laughs> He's gonna go b4 again. Um, maybe b4 He's very here. consistent. Very consistent yeah. with that. I still think Levy's the favorite in the match because of um, because of Bullet, but it's still, it's it's really exciting. Yeah, he goes b4. Eric is nothing if not consistent. Very consistent. Do you think that Levy, well, he pushes c4, so there was no time to, to even question whether he would want to trade or, or close the position with c4. I think closing the position is technically correct, although white can start to take the take the dark squares here too. 
Mm -hmm. yeah. B5 immediately by Eric, pushing the knight to A5. That knight is basically trapped on A5, but also cannot be attacked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the knight is stuck on the rim. It has it has no jumps here because the pawn holds it. And it's actually very reminiscent of that other game, the first game, where the knight was also on the rim like this, but because the pawn was on B7, was on like B7 or G2, when white pushed, it freed the knight. Whereas here, there's no chance to push because there's a pawn in the way. So the knight is just mm -hmm. stuck. It's completely just stuck here on A5. Bishop H2, knight of course. Knight to H5. I thought he was heading toward E4, not to H5. Now both mm -hmm. knights are on the rim. Yes, they both are, and they actually have no no jumps. Like the knight's not coming in. Knight can go back to f6, but the other knight is also yeah. The knight the knights are kind of. I mean, you have to treat your ponies better because they're they're both. Yeah, it goes back, but now like now knight e5 or bishop c2 idea e4, and I really like Eric's position here. Yeah, knight h5 feels like it was a waste of time. Now that Levy goes back, there was no follow up, and mm -hmm. the knight was misplaced. I wonder why. I don't he didn't know if go I love e4. a4 because now you free the knight. The knight can jump. Uh, mm -hmm. The pawn was restricting it, and, and black was not really threatening to play a6 or anything, so I don't love this, because now the knight's going to have a jump later on. Mm -hmm. True, that knight was stuck, and now mm -hmm. it, for now it cannot go to b3, because that square is well guarded by white, but on the long run, there is this right. option. Maybe you just trade and go e4? Mm -hmm. I would trade and go e4 here. I like that option a lot, because with the knight on a5, if you manage to open up the, the center, it's going to be a very pleasant position for white. I was wondering about knight another... f7 too, but I don't think it's all that good. Knight... Do you think that's why he's taking his time? He's calculating knight f7. Knight f3 Partially. is what Eric played. But mm -hmm. see, like here, if this pawn is on a2, you could go e4. But now because you move this pawn, if you go e4 and everything comes off, the knight just jumps to b3 because you no True. longer have this pawn. Like this pawn push was very unnecessary by Eric it freed the it freed the juice. Yeah, and this it's pawn, happening. Yeah. The knight will end up on mm -hmm. b3. Right. Although it's, it's not even saying the knight is great on b3 because you can just ignore it with rook d1. Yeah, but well, it's better than on a5 and stockless yeah. for sure. Yeah. Still, of course, very pleasant position with the central control for Eric. Mm -hmm. And uh, we shall see whether there's anything concrete because it looks like now with the knight on e5, the f7 square vulnerable. Let me place queen f6. Knight c6 looks very strong here for white. Oof, attacking a7, and there's not really a good way to guard that pawn. Yeah, Eric is starting to get really... Uh, Bishop e5 wins the game now. Bishop e5, queen f5, knight e7, collects a rook. You could also go g4 maybe with bishop e5. Ooh, that's a beautiful pattern, the ah rook, depending on the defense of the mm -hmm. eh rook. So I think it's happening. I think Eric will play it. Knight e7 check, yeah. winning material. Wow, this is pretty nuts. This might be the last game, actually, as well. I don't think it will be, but it could be. Or no, it, it won't be because there are Oh, the no 3 -0. How much yeah. time is left? I have 218. So even if they mm -hmm. use up all the time, there will be one more game after this. One more. Bishop d6. Yikes. Queen e8. Ay, ay, ay. Or queen c8. I mean, there are multiple, multiple variations of, of this that are just winning here. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Very impressive stuff from Eric, I have to say. Very impressive. Queen c4. Yeah, Eric sees it. Eric is really, he's just red hot now. It's like, it's not missing. For someone who started 3-0, down 3-0, mm -hmm. this is an incredible turn of events. Yeah, you can just trade and take the knight and then take the pawn. Okay. Like, rookie one. He even has more time. 35 seconds for Eric, 10 for Levy. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna. I mean, this is really, really. This is a really close match. Rookie 8. Yeah, you have like Knight h4, Queen d7. Oh, Rook d8 is a nice move by Eric. Very tricky move. Wow. And Eric takes the lead. Wow, wow. that that amazing. was unexpected from how the match started. Some of you suggesting we, sh we should send Eric some waffles to make him play worse. Maybe, <laughs> can someone do that? <laughs> it's all <in> the waffles. <laughs> it's all about the waffles. Yeah. Oh well, final blitz game of the three minute mm -hmm. portion and then we're gonna head over to the bullet. Half an hour of bullet will be the last segment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still think Levy has a good chance to win the match just because of uh, just because of the 
how fast he is in bullet, but still, I'm very impressed by Eric from where he was at, where he was, he was down. He lost the first series down four and a half, one and a half to win four games. I think he's won four in a row now is uh, amazing. Mm -hmm. Incredible how he managed to pull himself together. It's, mm -hmm. it's not easy when you start 3-0 in front of so many viewers as well. That's an extra pressure you're playing right. in front of your own fans. Uh, both of them are streaming on their channels, of course. And uh, at the same time, they're commentating on the game. Not, mm -hmm. not an easy one to deal with when you're yeah. starting with three three losses i think levy got a good opening here this looks good for white somehow i think eric walked into some kind of tr opening trap do you know this one do you know this this trap that levy's going for i mean i know that normally you don't you're not supposed to play c5 when they play like bishop g5 and h4 that much i know it's like if, if they go uh bishop f4 c5 is always fine but i feel like against h4 i think it's not supposed to be correct that much is that, mm. that much i remember mm-hmm and now e4 it does feel like levy's mm -hmm. still in his preparation right so he takes so you take and then you take and then he takes and then i guess you go knight e5 king e7 it looks very good for white but it's not so um it's not so uh it's not so easy to play mm -hmm. levy is now taking his time a little bit then he trades this mm -hmm. this is a very forcing line, so I was, so I was curious why he's thinking. Ninety five and king e seven has to be played. Yeah, because king e eight bishop b five and you just go. Oh, oh yo, yo, he yo, does yo, play yo, king e eight. What's his okay. idea after bishop b five? Just now you have king to go e7? king e seven. You you can't block because after white castle you get sauce. So you have to go yeah. king e seven. But this is now an extra tempo for for Levy having the bishop out on b five. If Eric had gone to e7 immediately, at least mm -hmm. the bishop would still be on f1. Yeah, so I guess a6 is a move here. Yeah, I, you can play g6 and bishop g7 maybe. Okay, b5, bishop b3 will be played. Maybe bishop b7 and knight c6. I mean, the only problem is you can't play f6. That's the problem. Like, maybe you could even move the rook and play f6. But I, I want to play g6 and bishop g7 here. Okay, he goes rook. G ah, he wants g5. g5 and also f6 afterwards. As, as you said, he couldn't push f6 earlier because of knight g6. It still looks H5 dangerous. h5 to stop g5. I like it. Knight d7. Okay. King e8. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a brave king. But it's maybe not so bad. If you get knight c5 and you attack that bishop on b3, it's uh, it's very unclear. Mm -hmm. Bishop c5 now? I mean, I, I think actually after bishop c5, black might be completely fine. He plays it. It did feel a lot more dangerous before. I agree with you that somehow Eric got out of this. Yeah, like if Eric can trade bishops and put that king on g5 and go knight f6, his king is going to be very, very safe. Like takes and king g5. And I think your king is very safe here. Yeah. Yeah, king g5. Oh, uh, and I don't G5, love that, but it's still wait. good. I guess rookie for oh, you, bishop e7. H takes, rook takes. And the rook's coming to the f file, or is that too slow to double rooks on the f file? You definitely can. Takes on e4 instead. I assume you go king, knight c5 or king g7, one of the two. Check, king g7, knight e5, rook f6, check, king f8, rook e8, g8. Still very hard, still very tricky. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now he doubles, but. F Probably f5. Five? f5, I think, here. Yeah, the, the sign that you know Eric is, is sort of playing well and feeling is he's playing lies most quickly. He, he's not spending, um, he's not spending a lot of time. Mm -hmm. And he's actually completely fine. Like, rook a7, rook c7, just activate the rook and target. Okay. Yeah, rook a7, rook c7 is very good. Like, rook a7. Only 27 seconds left. Yeah, time Eric, is. Maybe so... rook c8 make a draw? Okay, rook e8. Yeah, maybe he should have tried to just go for the draw. If, yeah, because now knight f4 and you lose. On the board, yeah, he less blundered time. This. Oh. Yeah, yeah now rook it's not c8 only was the time, move. the position. This yeah. double attack. Yeah. Winning material. Yeah. yeah. 
guess you... Yeah, this is just over. No, Le Levy's up 15 seconds. He's going to win this pretty cleanly, I would say. So. What a strange game this was, because it started out really well for Levy preparation-wise as well, and he got a better position out of the mm -hmm. opening, but Eric survived and was doing better uh, and had more time. There was time. a Rook takes E6 somewhere that he missed. F4? Yeah, Le Levy just has too much time. Yeah, Eric's going to lose on time. The position too with the, the pawns on the queen side. Yeah, that's that's a very simplified yeah. version mm -hmm. of how to convert this. Nicely done wow. by Levy tying the score. <laughs> yeah, I was looking like he might be behind by um, two points there. It's, it's pretty insane. Yeah, you need to run your own set. I think the bullet is starting, so we now have mm -hmm. the final segment, half an hour of bullet. Going into it, five and a half, five and a half for Levy and Eric. This is it, the decisive segment. Yeah, and and Levy's actually playing this this very this well. He got away with it because he got ninety four, but he's playing this bad line that I actually played against Levon a few times um, in in the uh, Magnus tour, which is a little bit dubious. Like this is actually is very dubious? similar to it. Yeah, very very. Now similar. now he's looking great with that bishop on d three, mm -hmm. but uh, I guess he he wanted to play a more dubious line for the bullet. Isn't he just almost trapping the queen? If uh uh, oh. uh takes an a one. Oh no, you just queen. Or wait, no, sorry, this isn't so clear. I'm insane. Sorry, I, I thought you were winning the bishop. Never mind, I'm stupid. It it looked like it was curtains, but it happened so quickly that we can't even show that moment. Now it's apparently equal again D5? with this end game. Okay, now you take and go bishop e2. Bishop e2, yeah. Rook c1, king d2 maybe. Yeah, Levy should win this, especially with all these these marching pawns on the king side, like g5, h5. It's still, still looking good for Levy now. Yeah, Levy's yeah, gonna win not this repeating game. Moves. The reason Levy's gonna win this game, barring a huge blunder, is because it's opposite color bishop, so it's very hard to create atta attacking chances. They're mm -hmm. very limited um, ideas in terms of tricks. Rook b4, rook b3, and now you yeah. lose a pawn. Up a pawn and just yeah. a few more seconds in a blood yeah. game is a, the decisive factor here. Now two pawns, so he can play mm -hmm. literally any move, go back and forth. He doesn't need a winning plan because he has more time. Right, exactly, yeah. Yeah, Rook H2 is winning. Um, yeah. A H2. G3. G8. Seven versus four seconds. Yeah, Queen... Yeah, see, it's just it's too easy to play for Levy. Too many options, like... And uh, it should be made soon. Oh, he was mating one there, but still. It's still, yeah, he still wins. <laughs> still. Got really close at the end, though. Really, really close game. Yeah. That means Levy now takes the lead again. He started leading the match at the very start, but then Eric has managed to make a comeback, and mm -hmm. it's again a point lead right. to Levy. Yeah, so, okay, what is this? H4, Queen D6. Okay, interesting. G4, H5, 92, of course. F5. Maybe Queen E6 here. Queen D5, one of the two squares, but you can't spend too much time here. You just have to trust one. Yeah, I wonder why is he taking so long there. Queen D5. Um, just castles. He plays Rook D8 instead. There's Queen D3 now, maybe. B5. The knight didn't have many good squares. Levy chooses 95, maybe? A3 95? to attack. Eric's got Eric's just thinking too long here. Just, just thinking too long. Yeah, feels too slow. Even though his position could be alright. Oh, but... knight B2, knight C7, very tricky. Oh, he falls Ooh, for it. Oh, he falls nice. for it. Yeah. Yeah, Levy's gonna win this game. Are you already adding it to the score? Yeah, 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 <laughs> I, I was. I, I just, I, I think it's too, e it's too easy for, for white to play. And also you can't really mate with a bishop and knight. There's like, there are no pass pawns, there's no imbalance. So it's just too easy for white to play. So that's kind of True. the point. Exchange up and also a couple of pawns that are running yeah. out so that we can pre-move those. He dropped the A pawn, but mm -hmm. still with the knight maneuvering to the yeah. king side. He's got five extra seconds and a better mm -hmm. winning position. 
<laughs> yeah, it's, it's just it's just too much. Yeah, all the material. Yeah, especially the with the time advantage because you can put the rook on f5 and then run the run the pawn up the board. Yeah. Nicely Pretty done, tough. Levy. Winning two out of two in the bullet for now. Mm -hmm. Let's see if Eric can catch up and make a comeback. Because bullet is the portion where we yeah. thought that Levy should be the better player. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm surprised actually, because because I didn't realize Eric was only 100 points lower rated than than Levy at this at this point. Like, I thought there was yeah. a bigger gap in bullet, but it's only 100 points, so it's not mm -hmm. def it's not necessarily over. Maybe 91. Okay, knight h2, g4. Probably not good. Maybe just rook g8 and g4. Takes and g3 maybe. G3. Fix the weakness on G4. I like this. This is a beautiful French defense. I would love to have this position every time. Yeah, this is uh this is pretty good for Oh I no G3. No, oh no, G3, I think. Oh, he doesn't do it. But now the knight will manage to get. That to was a free G3. knight on E7. That was a free knight. Levy oh. hung the knight. Yeah, Levy hung the knight. And you saw Levy's reaction too, like, yeah. <laughs> I was so focused on the white knight maneuver to g3. I didn't even look at what he was doing with his knight. Yeah. Geez, that was a free knight that wasn't taken. And now the pawn is gone from f5. Rook e5. Position. Rook g4. This is a free pawn. I would just take it, move the king, and run this bad boy. Move the king and just run that, run that pawn. Run, run it, baby. Send it up. Run that f pawn. Keep going. Keep going. He's doing so, yeah. That gives really good chances five. for White for a comeback. And more I time for I don't like Rook G7, though. Maybe Rook F5 here? He plays Rook G6 to keep the pawn alive. Have to go like Rook F1. Equal time it was, but now Eric is thinking again for a bit longer. Yeah, Eric's just, uh, Eric just panicked. It's just check on F7. Oh, no. He just forgot the that it was check. Gone. Yeah. Check and king c6 and king b5. No, no, no draw here. And Levy is winning again. Six seconds left for Levy, three for Eric. No more stalemates, no more yeah. stalemates, Levy yeah. says. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Three out of three for Levy so far in bullets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, uh, of course. Pretty rough for Eric, but Eric tries knight h6. This is the line that I think Artemiev has played recently. Knight f5 and h5, h4. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. I think I remember the first time I played this, I think it was on the Internet Chess Club in like 1997 or something. You go e4 and bishop c1. Oh, the ICC days. Uh, king c6 is not right, though. Isn't it? Wait, what is going, what, what is going so on? Crazy. No, you're supposed to go e6 there. What? What? E6 instead of King C6. You have to go like King D6 here. Why is Eric thinking? King D6 is the only move. Queen D5 loses. King to the B file loses. You just gotta go. There might be Queen C2 and so in checkmate though. It. There might be some mm -hmm. kind of weird right triangle. Okay. If if Eric can get his king to safety here, he's actually probably winning this game. Like and he's E5, not too low on E6. time. I was worried. He's gotta move gonna though. Be... You gotta move. He's thinking too long. Yeah. It's a pity we don't have time to analyze these positions because this is such a now crazy a line. Made, I think. Oh, is it mate or not? It's got to be mate, right? The king is just stuck. C but, takes but Eric just has to move. C6. He's just got to go. You just got to take and hope, hope for the best. Like king. E8. Oh man, and there's bishop. G oh no, there's checking queen b5. Oh, oh no. no. Yeah, queen there's B5, there's gonna be a check. Mate. There's check. Some, rook, C, rook d6 is mate. Rook d6 and queen c6. Very nice tactic by Levy. Checkmate into beautiful yeah, very, very nice. Four out of four in bullet. Levy is on fire and Eric mm -hmm. has to stop this somehow, but it's just getting worse and worse for now. Yeah. What is it that Eric has to do? What, what, what would be your um, advice to him if you could talk to him right now? I think he's. I mean, I don't think he's doing anything that that bad. He's just he's he's a little bit. He's just a little bit slower. That's that's what it's about. Just a little bit slower. So mm -hmm. maybe I mean maybe he just should play d5 and just trust his instincts. Like, but it's very hard, especially now when it's four zero. Like d5 again was begging to be played. D5 again was, is begging to be played. Knight d2 is a move, but I, I would just go d5 and queen a3, even if it's objectively bad. With queen a3. 
D5 again? Okay, <laughs> we're gonna do this. I think there might <laughs> he be really doesn't want to push that pawn. Yeah. He rather would blunder the pawn than push it, it mm -hmm. seems. That was unfortunate for Eric. By the way, Anna, on Monday there is going to be a blindfold match between Levy and Nemo. They are going to be playing a uh, blindfold match, so do you want to commentate on that? Oh, let me check. Let me figure that. I didn't know there was a match. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check if I can. What time is the match? Um. Oh, sorry, sorry, I'm wrong. Levy is gonna play blindfold. Uh, Nemo is gonna play just regular. So ah. it's gonna, there is gonna be a, uh, there's gonna be a difference. That sounds like a fun match. I, I'm gonna figure it out because that would be, that would be definitely a cool thing to do mm -hmm. as well. It's 1 p.m. Eastern. Around. So uh, that's what 7 p.m. In, or no, sorry, you're 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 in Greenwich Mean Time land. So that would be what six, I guess. Six o'clock your time? It's so confusing with time zones because we were on GMT and now it's uh, just British summer time. <laughs> Every time I'm just using a time converter because I don't know any longer. Oh, because to me, the way I've always thought is there's like, I thought all of all of the UK, well, okay, I should be careful what I say when I say UK, but um, I, I, I always think of it, it's like it's five hour difference except some weird period when it's four hours and then it, the rest of Europe is always just one hour ahead, basically. Uh, I mean, just normal Europe. Um, yeah, I guess that... Yeah, that, that's an easier way to count it. Uh, and this game was, again, a win for, for Levy that just mm -hmm. happened. It flew by five out of five right. now in the bullet yeah. portion for for Levy. How much time mm -hmm. is left from the bullets? Um, and the I, I have itself? 19 minutes. 19. Yeah. In 19 minutes, how mm -hmm. many games? Well, if it's oh, well actually, it's very easy. Like so two... it's two minutes total. So maximum yeah. number of games would be like nine. There could be nine more games. So mathematically, Eric can still make a comeback. Well, he has to start winning, which is the, the more difficult mm -hmm. part. And how do you actually make right, a comeback? Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Five point lead for Levy. Yeah. By the by the way, I meant like I meant traditional like Western Europe. That's what I meant, you guys. So that's that's what I meant. Um. Yeah, we also have more time zones in Europe. If, if, even if GMT is the one we mainly refer to, or or Central European time. But isn't it all the same? I mean, isn't it all the same like the British summertime G and, and like GMT? Except for that one period, isn't it just all the same? Yeah, I think British summertime is GMT plus one. So when so we're that's on just winter the same, time... So, so that's just the same time that you have like in, in Hungary and Germany and, and everywhere else, right? No, because that would be Central European time. So we are an hour closer to you guys. We are, we are in between <laughs> Central sure? European time. Um, would be like right now it would be 7 p.m for most of europe but for for me it's 6 p.m right exactly because it's five hours in all the uk and like yeah and like in germany everywhere it's six hours yeah yeah exactly yeah i'm i'm confused always with with the time zones but i think that's that's how it is oh let me blunder by the way where is his rook why we, are, we were trying to figure yeah, out time zones rook, yeah. Oh no, Queenie Levy Fortnite loses. Yeah, okay. Hanging. First okay, game, Eric he gets loses a win. Eric gets gets a win. It's back to four. Six and a half for Eric. Four point lead yeah. for Levy. But maybe mm -hmm. this is the start. Let's see. Levy should not get tilted. That's important. Right. Although Levy has a bad um bad bad opening here. D five. He he created Swiss cheese, but Eric doesn't really punish him for it. Yeah, the way I've always thought about time zones is just like. Europe, it's like it's six hours ahead, and then if you're in the UK, it's five hours. Except for that one window when it's four, four in, um, when it's four hours in, uh, in, in the UK and five in, in in the rest of Europe. Yeah, for a few weeks because you guys mm -hmm. had the daylight saving um, right. earlier, a few weeks yeah. earlier than us. Yeah. Yeah, true. That that's just always how I thought of it. It's like, mm -hmm. like UK is always five from Eastern, and mm -hmm. um, and like uh, and then like the rest of Europe is six hours, unless you're in Russia or, or far, far, far uh, north. Yeah. And Russia is so confusing because even within mm -hmm. Russia there are different time zones. Right. Yes, that's true. It's, it's Siberia, Hanty <laughs> Masi. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Very true. L lovely place for chess yeah. tournaments. How many times have you been to Hanty Masi's Kikaru? Um, probably like four times so far. I think four or five oh, times. You're leading. I've been to Siberia three times for chess tournaments. Uh, so Olympiad and what else? Olympiad, uh, Eric uh, Blunder, World kinda? Team, and World Cup. Uh, commentary the other two. Ooh. Wait, wasn't D7 winning? What? This was... Her Eric hung his queen too. He's just losing now. Yeah. Um, there have been a few mistakes, but of course this is bullet chess. So Levy with seven seconds left, but 
up a queen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's just bishop c5 and queen h4 is mate. Yeah, just just yeah, not not much that uh that Eric could do there. Eleven and a half already for Levy. Mm -hmm. Back to the five point lead. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah. yeah sorry, I, I just I started asking you about Siberia because it's one of the weirdest places I think us chess players go to because normally mm -hmm. that's not their holiday destination. Yeah, definitely it's uh yeah one one of one of those locations you go because the tournaments are there, but. Yeah, not 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 fabulous. My personal favorite is probably Saint Petersburg. It's it's the nicest city I think I've been to in Russia. I haven't made it to Saint Petersburg. I only go to Siberia. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to. Yeah. By the way, Eric's doing well. Knight b6 hits the pawn. Knight b6, win the pawn. Knight b6. Mhm. Mm okay. Now now I guess he's still better, but. Knight yeah, e5. he won the pawn this way, and now the knights are very active mm -hmm. too. Beautifully plays on e4 and e5. I like knight of six, queen g3, activity. though. You have to be careful here. Mm -hmm. I would probably take the knight, because now after knight of five, I mean, it's very scary. Do e, I don't like this at all with the long diagonal g7. Yeah, it's, it's too much attack scary. for white. How do you even stop knight takes g7? I was assuming queen d3, but now, I mean, there's some way you're winning. You know, Maybe the knight on f5 is just crushing. I just don't know how exactly you do it. Knight g7 and knight f5 back. Love is thinking for a long time here. Take. So he goes for the trade. He's trying to find a win. But he's low on time. 10 seconds. D2. And if there's no win, wow, he Levy wouldn't have made that? it. Rook wow, H2 is a threat of mate. Sure. What, what was takes? One second left for Levy. The dick change up. Oh, oh, he hung his rook yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Eric gets the win there. Yeah, Levy with the winning position in the end, but no time. Right. He is probably going to win the match, so I think at this point that, that much I think is clear. Um, it's a four-point lead with 13 minutes. There's still six games, but probably it, it should be over here. Going for, again, the hippopotamus setup. Mm -hmm. It's knight h5, hits the bishop. You can just take. You can just castle. Maybe d5 or e5 here. Okay, f5? Uh, I guess not. a5? And knight c5? Create a bastion. This is such a cool position for black. I find if I had known that the hippo is this good, I would have started playing it. Yeah, I mean, I I, I would like to believe it's a good opening. I mean, the, the only problem with the opening is that sometimes when you play it against people like Magnus Carlsen, it doesn't actually work out so well. And you get very bad positions and you lose without it being much of a game. So there are drawbacks for mm -hmm. sure. I see. Just, just some slight drawbacks. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm just gonna keep it for my bullet practice. I, I need to practice more. The funny thing is, there was a uh, um, a couple years back, there was a uh, a uh, grandmaster from from uh, Czechia, P Pavel Blatny was his name, and he was playing a lot of the open the open tournaments in the U.S. And he started playing the um, the hippopotamus with white and black every time. He just played like b3, g3 nonstop every single game. Knight c5 is a good move here, by the way. Um, and he played it every game. There was this uh, Fide master from Arizona who really was not a fan of the opening. And um, he was like, this this opening is terrible. You can't play it ever. And then he got paired against, this, against Pavel Blatney in a game and he lost. Um, so it was just very funny. Uh, just a, just a <laughs> he wanted to prove his info. point, but yeah. he achieved the opposite. Yeah. Oh well, uh, this is a piece up for Levy because of that bishop mm -hmm, d4 check checkmate, that was yeah. missed, and now checkmate with the two bishops. Yeah. Twelve and a half points for Levy. Very convincing the bullet portion. It was five and a half, five and a half going into the final mm -hmm. segment, the bullet. Yeah. And for those of you guys who are wondering, because I'm sure there are definitely some people from Arizona watching, that Fide Master, he since he's still active teaching chess quite frequently, his name is Robbie Adamson. So if anyone in chat <laughs> from Arizona knows Robbie, you should definitely make sure to ask him the story about that game. 
Um, Levy, I think, tricked air. Is this just a draw? Or is this this is just winning by force, right? E6? It looks like black is getting Yeah, you crushed. go E6, E7. This is a well-known trap. E6, E7, and Bishop G5. Yeah. Yeah, this is just... Uh, Eric walked into... Uh, this is just an opening trap. Yeah. It was just oh, well. So I guess knight it's incredible is a move here. Mm -hmm. how convincing the bullet portion is. I was just thinking that it we started with five and a half, five and a half, literally before the bullet games, and and now it's just it's, it seems like a clean sweep. Uh, do you think that it makes a difference for Eric that this one zero and not one one for the bullet? One one is such a strange one though. Yeah, I think I mean one one is very very tricky because it still is bullet and you can't really get way behind on the clock, but if but. With the increment, it's definitely different um, as opposed to just regular one zero. So it's very hard to play a mix between like spending time like three to five seconds on certain critical moves, but then still treating it like bullet with other moves. So it's a very weird mix uh, of the two. Mm -hmm. Looking great for Levy this whole match. Uh, he's gonna win an entire basket mm -hmm. of lemons. He can think yeah. about all the lemons that are going to New York. Yeah. Let me let me go to Amazon and see if I can. <laughs> Although, as someone pointed out, I mean, if we're, if we're being kind of like snarky, it could always be lemons to the loser. Uh, but I, I think I think since we said lemons oh. go to the winner, uh, let me see lemon basket. Yeah. Let me go on Amazon. No, we said that there's there's a high stake here, huge um, price fund of an entire basket full of lemons. Oh. Yeah. Um. What do we have? Lemon baskets. Lemon. I'm just looking at Amazon. Um, you can get a free two-hour delivery for, if you get just regular lemons. <laughs> okay. What? Yeah, I was just on Amazon. I saw that. That is so cool. I we can't get anything here on the same day. In Spain, it used to be possible in with some of the delivery, but Ireland is, uh, yeah, we are very you get a separated. Can you, can you get like a two-hour delivery on like a organic bag, two-pound bag of lemons? In in like you're in Dublin, right? Um, in the south of Ireland, of course. Oh, okay. Okay. But okay, in Ireland, okay. we can't get anything on the same day delivery. Oh. Not I... from Amazon because Amazon doesn't have doesn't have an Ireland base. We order everything from the UK. But now since the Brexit, it's. Uh, I think they are thinking of opening one here because uh, we are paying uh, extra fees <laughs> due to uh, the UK uh, shipping here. Oh, no, Eric, no. No, Eric. Uh... Oh, man. No, I was going to say that makes that that makes no sense because um, yeah. Ireland is obviously a tax haven, so I, that's very weird. Yeah, one would assume that Amazon has a base here. Or like a... That's very uh... weird. Hmm. Okay at least one store or online store shipping from here not yet hopefully one day hopefully one day spain has its own so in spain i i could order for the same day in madrid ah okay okay yeah hm, interesting all right um what's going on here so eric is black i guess he takes the pawn g4 not the best move i think black probably can grab the piece but i don't think eric will Okay, yeah, now now Levy's just in cheese mode, I think, because this is obviously nonsense. It doesn't work, but he's so far ahead that it doesn't really matter. He's going for it. He's playing for you guys. It's all for you, all for yeah. the fireworks. Will this lead to checkmate? Um, I don't see it. I think it's I think it's could... winning for black, but it, it's still tricky. Like knight d6, maybe a knight f5. Actually, I like rook g8. Very um. Such yeah, an annoying it's a good move. move. Still not clear of the position. Levy has less time, but with such a lead, 14 mm -hmm. and a half versus seven and a half. How much time is left from the bullet? I have six minutes. There's bishop h3 six. or bishop d5 here. Knight g4, also a pretty good move. Just takes in bishop g4. Okay, now, now, now Eric should win. Just trade the queens and go bishop d6. Okay, takes mm -hmm. a pawn, bishop d6. Oh no, Eric just blundered the piece. And now he's thinking too long instead of just moving and ignoring the blunder. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like today Levy certainly has been in better shape if we compare how. Yeah. 
in, in mm -hmm. Blitz 2, he started so well, and that gave him A4? A4? maybe a bit of... Ooh. Yeah, wrong order. <laughs> yeah. It started at very well for Levy, but now maybe he relaxed a bit too much in the Blitz portion, but now mm -hmm. clearly in Bullet, it, it is his match. Checkmate! Oh, checkmate! <laughs> Ooh, that's when I said it's his match. Anyway, it's one point. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> he stepped into it. He stepped into it. Lev is just laughing about the whole thing. Of course, he's, he has such a big lead that this doesn't matter anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but still, like... <laughs> Okay, h3, probably h4. The queen looks a little bit weird on h2. I guess white just develops, though. Actually, he's lining up a very weird diagonal here. Just castle's next move, I guess. Maybe just take the knight. I'm just trying to guess what, what is Levi saying. He's so, <laughs> he's so animated and passionate about... Maybe it's still just about the previous blunder, but mm -hmm. it's, it's doing... It's... It still is, of course, his match. He's doing what? very well. Takes. Uh, he goes for this sacrifice as well. Again, yeah. fireworks. Mm -hmm. It could work out, Bishop actually, C5, with the king maybe? on d1. There's also queen b6 here. Queen b6, king c2, I guess, is playable. Yeah, I think white is okay here. Actually, the engine even says white is okay, but... We'll see what we'll see what Levy does. Queen c2. Bishop c3 hits the pawn. Bishop g7. Bishop f6. Oh, Levy was talking about helpmates. Apparently, that he's supposed to help his opponent checkmate him. Well, there's not going to be a, a helpmate in this one. Um, but it's going down the wire because of the time. Check. Levy's down on time. Check. B3? Or knight B6, knight B6, rook A5 and takes. Yeah. yeah but Check. Winning position knight and C4, also more very time nice for takes. Eric. And he can, he can pre all yeah. the pawn pushes. Yep, very nice no game No stemming, but error. checkmate instead. Very, very nice. Nine and a half. Overall, still in the bullet portion, Levy has mm -hmm. been dominating, but if these last few games, maybe if, if Eric manages to win them. The problem is this segment yeah, is ending not enough soon. Time. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't he doesn't have enough time to make a comeback in the match. Yeah, but it's been, this has been great, though. Uh, it's great to see mm -hmm. the way Eric's still even here at the end. He's still, um, still fighting, still playing good, still trying to win games. Yeah, he's motivated enough to keep going, even if mathematically he cannot, he cannot mm -hmm. tie the exactly. score. Exactly, yeah. So what's... I guess just queen e2 here. Uh, maybe rook a6 and rook c6. Okay, knight e4 now, of course. Mm -hmm. I like that rook leave that you're mentioning to get the rook to the c file. Rook a6. So bishop b6 instead. Well, to get. The, is he trying to play knight c5 or the c5 c4 as well? Knight c5. I guess D3 He's is the taking... move here. Yeah, I was taking a bit too long. I felt like Eric, but I guess he was calculating whether so he can just take the, He can just take or push D3. I would just take the D3 mm -hmm. and Rook D4 now. Rook D4 should be very Starting strong. D2. Or maybe Rook E. I mean, but the thing is, Eric's a little bit too slow here. I think. Yeah, and he's calculating which one is the more accurate Might move. Whether he is Might winning, three, but he has no time. Oh, now there's me. There's, there's just a draw. Oh, perpetual check for Levy. Yeah, it's just a draw. Yeah, the e file is cut, so the king cannot run away. Yeah. Nicely spotted by Levy. Yeah. Rook takes h7, mm -hmm. saving the day. Yeah. So I think we have one more, right? We get mm -hmm. back to nice even numbers at least. Yeah, I was gonna say this had to happen. Thank you guys. Uh, thanks to Eric and Levy for making it prettier for the scoreboard. Whoa, wait a second. I didn't look for a moment. I didn't look for a moment. Hikaru, your thoughts on the opening? Uh I mean it's just uh it's just <laughs> 
just terrible. It's the worst opening ever. I mean, these guys, they, <laughs> they bring such great shame on the game of chess by playing this. Literally the worst. <laughs> the worst thing ever. Um, so, yeah. All right. Um, who's even better here? I'm kind of confused. I assume white's better, right? Somehow. I don't even know what's going on here. Speaking of the bone what, what is king of four? <gasps> oh! <laughs> There's just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is, this is just king too of much. the hill oh. king takes e5 wins and king of the hill this is just wow. too much okay there's got to be some way to check me right check and knight h yeah this cannot be check queen g queen c5 or queen d6 was it there was a force mate right it was mate and five yeah and now the king gets out and actually white's starting to play rookie one and this goodness this is, this, me this is what actually kind of weird yeah it's not it's not over suddenly I mean, maybe if knight f6, queen f5, knight g4, and it works, but it's... Now white takes. Oh, he could have taken the knight and then gone rookie one. Yeah, why did he not take it? Now this is... Well, he still, still very... got away with it, though. Yeah, it's still crazy. <laughs> he got away. But now the rook is stuck on h1. There's no more rookie one. Yeah, bishop g5 and rookie one. Yeah, I mean, I, I think... Oh, there's queen f2. And it's that's the last one. game. That's the last game. Oh. Yeah. Oof. Well, that was a fun one, though. The opening choice. I'm happy to see that. I'm certainly happy to see that.